praise God. Heavenly Father, we worship you. We give you praise for your mercy, for your goodness, for your love, for your protection. Thank you for this beautiful Tuesday morning. We exalt your holy name. As we look into your word, transform our lives. In Jesus' holy name, we pray. Amen. So excited to share God's word with you today again in the book of John chapter 16. Verse 33, this was Jesus speaking. He said, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the war ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. This was Jesus speaking to his people while he was about departing the earth. That in this world, there will be a lot of tribulations for them. There will be a lot of persecution. He didn't lie to them. Jesus was very honest with them and told them that they should just understand that with him, with them, they have peace. But they should understand there will be tribulation in the world as well. But they should be of good cheer because he has overcome the world. So my prayer today is that the grace of God will come upon us to overcome the world and the strategies of the devil. Because what the devil seeks to do is to distract us from the plan and purpose of God for our life and make us to begin to chase after things that are mundane, begin to chase after things that do not glorify God. It is time for us to brace up and remember the promises of Christ. He said we should remember that he's with us. He said we should remember that he has fought the battle and he has overcome the world. And if he has overcome, definitely we, we are also overcomers. Father, I thank you for this day. Lord, I pray that we shall become overcomers. Lord, as you have overcome this world, we shall also overcome in the name of Jesus. Because we believe in you. We are sons and daughters of the Most High. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen.